a lot of you guys come to the Akron market because you can do things like buy houses for 49 k rent them for 1350 right? That's why a lot of you guys come here. You can't do that in New Jersey. You can't do that in New York. You can't do that in the communist nation of California. You can't do that in that dirty shithole Portland, right? <laughs> By and large, when you get into these types of areas, Section 8 tenants, as you go forward, are typically going to provide you guys with the most consistent returns, right? See what I mean when I said it was like a small backyard. forest? <laughs> this is a sweet backyard. I'm not even going to lie. Okay, even if you don't buy this particular property from me here in Akron, I want you to walk away from this video knowing that you learned a thing or two about the Akron real estate market, about investing in Akron, right? Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't wise to you giving it to you straight. Happy Easter, y'all. Happy Easter. Got me a deal. 644 Easter. I was I was going to throw in a joke. I was going to try to work in a joke there because it's like Easter, but it's also like a holiday. But it's the name of the street there. But then I realized it's just not funny. There's just nothing funny I could have done there. So I, I kind of aborted halfway through. So I'm sorry. If any of you have a good joke... Like, feel free to share it in the comments, but, like, I doubt you do because that's a tough one, okay? Not everything, you know, is going to turn into a funny move, okay? But I'm one-take Jimmy, and I, d I don't redo shoots, so we're just going to keep going. We're going to ride this thing out, ride this right into the sales pitch, okay? 644 Easter, man, 49.9, okay? This is a four-bed, one-bath, and that is important. That is incredibly important, right? Because, all right, you take this neighborhood, okay? Now, Akron, folks, for those of you that are not familiar with Akron, right? I know we get a lot of out-of-state investors coming here, okay? A lot of you guys come to the Akron market because you can do things like buy houses for 49 k rent them for 1350 right? That's why a lot of you guys come here. You can't do that in New Jersey. You can't do that in New York. You can't do that in the communist nation of California. You can't do that in that dirty shithole Portland, right? But you can do it in Akron. But what a lot of you guys who are from a lot of those areas don't seem to understand is that it's very difficult out here. There's a lot of crime and there's issues when you get into these neighborhoods. And I see brand new out-of-state investors every single day uh, falling into trouble, falling into problems, okay? So what I like to do as we present these videos to you, as we present these investment opportunities to you, I like to explain to you guys the ownership experience and educate you so you guys can be successful. Now, I have made millions of dollars Investing in low-income housing like this, okay? I've sold $200 million of this stuff, right? And when you're selling properties that are priced at under 50000 and you get all the way to the total sum of over $200 million, you could do the math at home. I'm selling a lot of real estate out here, folks. So I know a thing or two. And with this particular deal, right, the rent is currently nine fifty, okay? But the market rent could be as high as thirteen fifty. You get Section 8... Uh, tenants in here. These current tenants are not Section 8, but in neighborhoods like this, I want you guys to focus on the Section 8 vouchers, right? These tenants are current with their rent. They're paying their rent. They got several months left on their lease. I'm not suggesting that you should buy it for 49 k and then just kick them out to replace them with Section 8 tenants. That would be stupid, okay? It's 49 9 and they're paying nine fifty. Guess what? Run your numbers. The thing cash flows currently, but I'm letting you know there is meat on the bone. But when you're in a difficult neighborhood like this, the best way uh, to consistently get tenants who pay, like these tenants pay, okay? Uh, all tenants pay till they don't pay, though. I'm not saying these tenants specifically uh, have done anything that would lead me to believe they're not going to pay rent in the future or anything of that nature. But I'm just letting you guys know, as somebody who's done so many deals out here, by and large, when you get into these types of areas, Section 8 tenants, as you go forward, are typically going to provide you guys with the most consistent returns, right? Uh, as of right now, though, we got a great cash-paying tenant. You want to continue 
collecting that rent, okay? But eventually, one day, these folks are going to move out. And when they do move out, folks, I suggest you do a unit turn and then put in a Section 8 tenant and then collect thirteen fifty in rent. Now, obviously, you could see the interior of the home is going to need some cleanup before you're going to be able to get a Section 8 rent ready. But no that that big old huge high rent amount 1350 is on the radar right that's something you can achieve right and the reason you can achieve that is because this is a four bed one bath right section 8 pays you more money as a landlord pays the tenants really i guess like they they issue the tenants uh more expensive vouchers bigger vouchers uh based upon the number of children they have and the number of bedrooms they're going to need right so a tenant with a four bedroom voucher you're able to get a bigger amount of rent, right? So I know the most popular type of housing uh, that, you know, landlords are typically buying, out-of-state investors are typically buying are like your 3-1 houses, right? But once you're getting into the 4-1s or the 5-1s, dude, the Section 8 vouchers, woohoo, man, they go through the roof, right? So this is something that it, it's, in a, it's, in, it's in a difficult neighborhood. We currently have a tenant, and I've given you a plan of attack uh, after this tenant eventually leaves, right? Because guys, if you're buying properties and you're anticipating that your tenant is going to live in them forever or your entire ownership experience, I'm sorry to say that's not usually uh, how things go down. Now, we've seen people stay in properties for 5, 10, 15, 20 years, but that is absolutely not the norm, and I don't want to fluff you, right? You get a lot of turnkey sellers or folks out there selling properties to out-of-state investors, folks coming from that dirty shithole Portland, folks coming from the communist nation of California, folks coming from Jersey, New York, places like that, and they like to sell you all a bill of goods. I don't do that, okay? Even if you don't buy this particular property from me here in Akron, I want you to walk away from this video knowing that you learned a thing or two about the Akron real estate market, about investing in Akron, right? I may not have hit things off with a solid joke at the beginning, right? That one was a stinker. But you know what? I think, you know, towards... The entire trajectory of the, of the video here, I was able to at least provide you guys with some solid education, whether you buy this deal or whether you don't. At least you know a little bit more about you know, what to expect, what to anticipate here uh, in Akron, Ohio. Because it is an incredibly popular market for out-of-state investors, right? Just because things are so cheap. But I want you guys to see why they're so cheap. I want you guys to see why the price-to-rent ratios are so high. And, you know, as you can tell from this particular property, it's not perfect, but the numbers speak for themselves, man. And if you uh, need to know more about those numbers, you're looking for, like, the cash-on-cash -cash return or the vacancy expense estimates, the taxes, why? I mean, I got taxes in the video, but if you're looking to like gather all of the appropriate numbers and, and like management expenses and like you're looking to figure out how you could take all of that and, and, and you know, punch out your numbers and, and see what a reasonable cash on cash return estimate and return estimate and things of that nature are. Uh, I invite you guys to also check out our other show here. It's called the MLS Search and Analysis Show. We've got several thousand episodes published and in each and every one of those episodes, I teach you guys how to run numbers on properties just like this, right? And you could actually utilize that show, get your own personalized videos and work with me one-on-one. -on -one. Whereas here on this show, uh, we're just, you know, presenting the inventory to everybody and we price it incredibly well, incredibly attractive, incredibly aggressively. Uh, so we're bound to get multiple offers. So this one's going to go quick. So this is kind of like, you're just kind of bidding on this one. But if you want to get in touch with me personally and work with me personally, you do it through the MLS show. You could click the notes below this video to book a call at my team to do that. Or if you want to buy this particular property, very simple process. All you got to do is shoot an email to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. If you want to pay cash, great. Include your proof of funds. If you want to finance, great. Include your pre-approval letter. If you want to get a tour of this particular property, check out the tenant's unit, see what's going on, check out the bedrooms, check out the bathrooms, things of that nature before you put in a bid, you can go ahead and fuck right off because we're not going to be doing that shit. We don't just bother the hell out of our tenants, folks. I told you all earlier, I sold $200 million worth of real estate. I told you earlier that if I'm selling properties priced at about $50,000 a pop, less than $50,000 a pop many times, I got to sell a whole bunch of them suckers to get up to 200 plus million, right? So that knows that means I know a thing or two about this business, about this game, and I've done thousands and thousands and thousands of transactions. And having done all that, having all that experience, I can tell you that when people watch our videos, see our properties, we get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of looky-loos, tire kickers, time wasters, people that just want to come around and 
you know, try to play landlord for the day. If you think we're going to disturb these nice folks, we're going to let you go into their space and bother them uh, just because you've got that little itch you're trying to scratch. That ain't going to happen, bro. Now, we're all about transparency. Uh, if you make an offer and your offer is accepted, we're not going to make you buy it totally blind. That'd be batshit crazy. I know y'all need to do your due diligence. We're going to have it be contingent on inspection, have it be contingent on appraisal, right? That is two times the house will be opened up. Two and only two times will the house be opened up. If you're one of those guys who's like, well, I don't want to pay for an inspection before I know if I want to buy it, then you should move on, bro, because if we're going to go through the effort and the time uh, it takes to actually pay employees to get out there, notice the tenants, ensure you get in and bother the tenants, disrupt the tenants' lives. You better have some skin in the game. You better be willing to drop four or five hundred dollars on a home inspection. If you ain't willing to do that after watching this full video tour, I know you ain't serious and we don't want nothing to do with you nor do these tenants. But if you are a serious buyer ready to rock and roll and you can get down with all that, sales at holdenwise.com is where you need to send those offers. Let's go. See what I mean when That's I said it was like a small backyard. forest? <laughs> this is a sweet backyard, I'm not even gonna lie. You probably don't need the light out here. I'm sure it's yeah, bright enough. Make much of a difference. Wow, oh, what a nice people. tree. Hi, buddy. Oh, hey. Easy, boy. Oh, 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 Go back up there, boy. It's okay. Go, go, go. Go. <laughs> He's go. just garden. Go. Like, I'm confused. Kelvinator. No, you gotta say it right. The Kelvinator. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.